Hi folks, uh, I'm going to try recording the tutorial for you for The Edge of Space, which is uh, the next in, uh, game in the Terraria. Made by Terraria, should I say. Uh, my reading isn't fantastic, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, okay, let's go. Welcome to the Art Company Alpha Orbital Training Facility. As a rookie operative, you are an important part of the ARCO organization. Your success is our success. While most private space programs release their people out into the wild with little or no training at all, ARCO has taken the time to create a series of tutorials provided on orbital stations like this one. What kind of operation would we be if we didn't properly invest in our employees? Not a reputable one, that's for sure. Before you begin your exciting new career in terraforming, you should spend a few minutes uh, completing the basic courses presented in this and other ARCO stations. While we highly recommend these lessons to every operative, more experienced employees should just feel free to opt out. Would you like to continue? Yes, continue with training. Waking up from a uh, cryo can be stressful. So just to make sure everything is still working as intended, please take a moment to jump around. Use A and D to move left and right and spacebar to jump. Put my left foot in. Right, yeah, jump, yeah. Excellent, proceed to the door on your right and advance to the next course. Remember, if you ever want to read tutorial messages again, walk up to the projector and right click standing next to it to reset it. OK, computer. Roll through this door. <clears throat> ah, right. For your first lesson, we'll be teaching you how to mitigate the effects of uncontrolled descents <coughs> in gravitational environments, in other words, falling. The, shift, the shaft to your left has been carefully constructed to provide you with a sensation of weightlessness for a few moments. Step out above it whenever you are ready. How many moments? We hope that little fall didn't hurt you too much. Our sensors indicate that you're okay. As shown on your blue health bar at the top left, which will be here. Many of the objectives you'll encounter can be activated to achieve various effects. From simply turning on the lights or operating doors to depressurizing an entire space station module or triggering the self-destruct sequence. The wall switch in this room should produce one of the above results. Stand near and right click over the objects to activate it. I hope this opens the right door. Yeah, we're good if it opens that door. Okay. Hey. Right. You're doing great so far. It's time to delve into the crafting system which is what you'll be using to manipulate the world around you and make everything you'll need as an ARCO operative. That's right, you'll be totally self-sufficient down there with absolutely no assistance from the flagship, its supplies or any other ARCO representatives or employees. How exciting is that? Very. Press V to bring up the crafting window and drop down box at the top contains a list of all the recipes you currently know. Which at this point is just one, a basic laser pick. Hey, it's my first day. So V. Uh, that's crafting, weapons, mining. So we need dirt and rock for that, I'll just close that. Once you have selected it, you notice that the window on the right lists the ingredients required to complete the recipe, which you'll find located in the locker across the room. Click on the materials to select them, then click the science button. The materials are located in the locker to your right. Right click the locker standing 
there to receive the materials. One button science, eh? Hang on a minute. Okay. So we've got our rock and our dirt. Okay. And, just like that, you are now the very proud holder of a basic laser pick. Uh, not quite yet, because I've not made it. You can see it in your inventory press. I am going to make this pick. So with V, select my basic laser pick. Uh, you need to actually click the select button below the materials and select what, what materials you need to add them. And let's make science. Basic laser pick. Sometimes all you need is a sturdy laser that can rip through ground. Arco standard issue laser pick is not just a tool, it is your friend. Complete. So we'll close that. Right, so back to here. Um, and just like that, you're now proud on the laser pick. You can see it in your vent if you press I. Right, there it is. Just click and drop it into your slot bar, or you can actually click these little arrows and it will show you what's in your inventory. And just select it like that if you want to. Uh, press I, please exit to your right for the next lesson. Okay, my mum always did, did say I was special. I was to that effect. Okay. Okay. It won't be long until you're going to want to actually use that shiny new Akko laser pick. In order to do so, you'll need nah, which we did, um, for easy access, along with any other equipment you create later on. You never know when you'll suddenly need your trusty laser pick, laser rifle or emergency antibiotics. Start by pressing I to open up your inventory again. Antibiotics. Don't worry about those for now. The row of the row of the slots on the top constitute your quick bar or the series of items you'll be able to cycle through without having to access your inventory. Click on the arrow in one of these boxes. You'll find a laser pick in the drop down menu. That's like I showed you before, but obviously the laser pick's not in there because I've already added it. And to let it, you can also drag and drop, which is the way I did, if you like. Seriously, what about these antibiotics? You'll probably never need these. Uh, now, are you ready to get your hands dirty, operative? Good. We blocked the exit to this station with a small wall of dirt, which you'll have to dig through using your brand new basic laser pick. Use the mouse wheel to scroll through your quick bar until your pick is active, then aim at the wall now. Just hold down the left mouse button and watch the dirt disappear. Actually, the dirt isn't gone, it's right there. It's in your inventory now. I'm rich! Dirt rich. Okay. It's not the fastest of tools, but uh, I suppose it's a bit quicker than the matter manipulator from Starbound. But I can only like do one block at a time with this at the moment. I don't know if it's going to change later on as I've uh, not really got far past the tutorial. Right. Congratulations, Operative. You are. You have completed all of the lessons provided here on Alpha Station. To continue your training, please retrieve the schematic for the Beta Station key from the locker in, its, in this room. In your crafting window under the Research and the Development tab, you'll see the recipe for the key. Build it, then assign it to your quick bar. With it selected, left click and you'll be on your way to the Beta Station. Good luck! I don't need luck, I have a pick. Okay, so V, go to research and development, and development, station, beta, beta, access, raw materials, uh, well we've only got dirt so far really, and um, science, 
da, 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 da. complete. Okay, now I'll actually use a drop down to put it in my slot this time. That's it. And it says left click, but I think you have to hold down the left click, yeah. And voila! Oh, when you first load up the game, it does take a while because it uh, it's actually regenerating your world, so it does take a bit of time. And it looks like this is taking a bit of time. Come on, be nice. Ah, there we go. Okay, welcome to the Arco Vita Orbital Training Facility. Here you will learn the next set of lessons required to advance your career as a terraformer. Would you like to continue with your training? Yep. Excellent. Initiating beta station protocols. Safety is disabled. Safety is disabled? You should see one of the plasma torch in this room that looks different from the rest. Hold your mouse over this object and press X to select it, then X to pick it up. Grab the torch. Got it. Right. So... This is a torch. Just put your cursor over X. You'll get the arrow there. Then X again to pick it up. Well, that done. Okay. Right. During your travels, you're bound to come across Arco supply drop chests. Are these those created by other operatives? Right-click on the chest to open the chest and inspect its contents. You may move items back and forth from your inventory by having both windows open simultaneously. Payday! So I'll right click that, and we've got a torch. Hang on. I just click, left click, and left click again. Close those. So we've got two torches now. Yeah, yours. The platforms in this vertical tunnel may be dropped through by pressing S while standing on them. You may jump using spacebar to get back up through the platform. Ups and downs, eh? Oh, lots of digging to do here. Arco would like to offer its sincere apologies for this segment of the tutorial. This module was originally tended to appear much later in the training process, but due to the assembly error it was accidentally included here. In order to progress through the, the exit near the ceiling of this room, you will need to use your laser pick and gather up material deposited on the floor and arrange it into platforms to reach the top. So basically jumping my blazing blocks underneath here. Apology accepted. And it might take a while to get rid of this. Seems like it could be a quite okay game. Um, it seems to have uh, quite a few bosses in here. Um, and for what I have heard about it, the world has uh, got quite a few layers. And you do need to gear up. Uh, so you can survive the deeper layers. Um, I think there's like different atmospheres and what have you. And obviously different levels of mobs. And materials I'm guessing as well.
Okay, so actually I didn't need to do that, I could have just clicked on that and dirt. Uh, uh, scroll over to that. We are so glad you made it through the last room. Being able to build your way out of difficult situations will come in very handy once you're down on the surface of Akoa. Uh, we can't stress that enough. Alright, now let's find you a jetpack. A jetpack, sweet! Okay. Go to the chest nearby to get the jetpack from the inside. Press C to open up your equipment window and Drag it into the jetpack slot. Okay. You shall see the yellow energy bar at the upper left slowly filling up. Uh, while energy has several uses, right now all we're worried about is powering your jetpack. To use it, jump as you normally would, but press and hold the spacebar again as long as uh, you hold down and have the energy to power it you'll be able to fly. Wait. Try to reach the exit near the top of this room. Up and away. So right click. Close that. See to get your character panel up. Jetpack. Nah. So this should fill up now. Right, uh, let's see where it is I have to go. Ah, it's up there. Hey. Now that you're familiar with the ups and downs of navigation, wait for laughter in brackets, you're ready to once again head down to the surface. Please access the locker in this room to obtain the schematics needed to enter Gamma Sector. Ups and downs, good one. Okay, remember, getting through the next stations are vital to your personal advancement. Check that. Check what you need to make uh, the next key before going forward. I will not neglect the stations. Right, uh, so... Oh, if you've uh, used one of the keys, you'll get this red axe over it. All you have to do is click the axe and it'll disappear out of that slot. Okay, so V. Research and development. Development. Gamma access key. So we need clay, mud, rock, and dirt. Um, ah, right, I remember. We're going to have to get these from the planet. Let's hope we find them pretty quick as well. Right, what have we got here? Plenty dirt here. Don't think I can have a set up there. It's looking like it's all dirt here, funnily enough. Dirt, yeah, for more dirt. Ah, oh, this looks different. Mod. Plenty mud anyway. Um, so we can 
dirt. We could use some clay. It's a bit awkward when you've not got a torch. What have we got? It? Ah, what's this? Dirt again. Yeah, lots of dirt. Clay and mud, right. So that's a clay. Right, let's see how much clay we need. Uh, oh, I think we've got enough. And science. Yay! So I'll click a little drop down arrow. Access gamma station. Hold down left click. Welcome to the Gamma Station, where you will learn perhaps the most essential required to survive down on Arcoa. Crafting, maintaining and using weapons. Would you like to continue? Oh yes. While Arcoa would normally prohibit the use of firearms aboard the space station, the facility has been reinforced to sustain such activity by rookie operatives. In fact, we're very proud to boast an 86 success rate. 86 is very good. First, you'll need to gather up all the materials you buy to make your weapon, which you will find in the two lockers located in this room. Once you have gathered everything up, go to the workstation near the middle, which is this thing, of the room and open your crafting window using V. From there, pull down the menu at the top, select the weapon tool category and the rifle subcategory. Once selected, you will see a list of required components on the right. Assign all of the materials you just received into the proper locations. The workstation icon at the bottom indicates that you must be near the workstation to complete this schematic. Go ahead, create the rifle now. Out we're talking. Right, so get the stuff over there, stuff over there. V rifle. Add stuffs. Dirt, mud, great rifle. Rock. Um clay. Clay. Really? Am I the right thing there? Hmm. I'm guessing I need to get some more clay from somewhere. That's rather annoying. Hmm. I guess I might have bugged that up, guys. 
Can I get back? Um, no, that's a downer, considering all the stuff I'm meant to be in there. Sorry, but I'm going to have to leave it there.